Barrel right, hold down. We got a crowd. Let's get straight to these rounds. Shout out to QB. Had a great event. First ever event. Black Diamond Battle League. Like I said, shout out to QB having her first ever event. Look like a packed out event. The stream was good. Shout out to Alvo. But yeah, she did the damn thing. Her and T Rex and War. It I'm Debo. Who? Debo. Oh, shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna just What's up, y'all? Oh, shit! Oh. That's my fight, God Man! Hi, damn. Oh, man, hi, damn. Debo and Angry Fan have gone to look a little fisticuffs, a little bit of a scuffle at QB's first ever event. Again, shout out before I say anything, shout out to QB, shout out to her event. I can't wait to do reactions to the battles that have been there. Again, I cannot, I can't appreciate QB enough being one of the pioneers of not just female battle rap, but battle rap in general, having looked like a great first event. Shout out to QB. But God dang, Debo. Debo out here doing his best. Ice Cube from Lottery Ticket Impression trying to punch niggas. <laughs> trying to punch niggas. What are you doing, Debo? What? So backstory, Angry Fan, who doesn't pop pop out often, was at QB's event in Connecticut. And uh, QB was doing the damn thing with the event. Angry Fan was lit. He was lit. You know, yeah, there was videos on Hip Hop is Real and 50 Minutes of Fan. Uh, because Angry Fan don't be popping out like that, who's one of the pillars in battle rap media, like it had to be documented. Like, yo, this is a moment. Like, Angry Fan's outside. Angry Fan's outside. So that's being documented by Hip Hop Israel and 15 Minutes of Fame. So apparently Debo saw this, decided to take a drive. <laughs> decided to drive like an hour or so, however long. And you probably listen to the. Probably listen to that while he's driving down there. He was walking, he walked in like Mark Henry. Somebody gonna get the ass kicked. Somebody gonna get the wing split. Beat him up. Shake him down. <laughs> he was walking out like Mark Henry, world's strongest man. He found Angry Fan like, oh yeah, you remember last year? We was talking all that SMD, all that, yeah, talking all that smack. Like, if you see me, it's on site, all that on site. Yeah. What is the five fingers? Say to the face. <laughs> What? Slap! Cold blooded. Cold blooded. <laughs> Cold -blooded. <laughs> oh Lord! They done messed up the family function. Angry fan and Debo nigga. I had a lot of things on my battle rap bingo card for 2024. That wasn't one of them. Angry fan and Debo. What? So they start getting the scuffling. Well, not really. Debo basically like backslap Angry fan. Sway was trying to get in the way, trying to get Debo out of there so that more stuff don't happen. Meanwhile, Angry fan pops up like when we Super Seance, RP to. I'm not even gonna act like I know the brother. RP to the brother that created all Dragon Ball Z. I'm not into that, so. But RP to him, I know what I mean. He means a lot to a lot of people. But Angry Fan with Super Saiyan, as soon as he got touched, he on go now. He on go, he lick it up, he ready to go. 
And now he can't get to Debo because Debo done disappeared. Disappeared. Poof. Disappeared. He done did a, he did a Jamie Foxx. He done have one stand up. Where he was like, it was in the event like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Bitch. I'm in the car. He on the ground trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Debo done disappeared, went through the side door. What you give me a five for? Like, yo, that is crazy. So now Anger fan licking up, mad, pissed off on Super Saiyan Hawk mode. He pushing everybody, he trying to get everybody out of there. And niggas like, chill, chill. Sway, Fetty, Fetty Chitty 20, chill, chill. And now, oh my God, I can't believe it. So now they got to throw Angry fan out like uh, Eddie Murphy on Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. <laughs> they gotta throw him out there event because he wilded too much. He on go. He on one, two, three, four, ten. Like he gotta get out of there because he, he, he causes too much ruckus. So now a fan in the rain, it's raining pouring dogs and cats outside. Look like a goddamn Morion video. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! <laughs> God damn! Good morning, y'all. Guess <laughs> you got served, nigga. Now angry fan outside. Like, where Debo? Sounded like <laughs> where Debo? Sounded like uh, our city hall in a hall of nights. Quick! You kill my brother, quick! So now there's cameras outside. Everybody recording. Everybody ducking low because they ain't trying to get into the into the eye of you, Anger fan. He's, he's on demon time. Well, I tell you, he's on demon time. You don't want to be in front of that. In real, you can tell. You can see it in his eyes, nigga. You can see it in his eyes. He was on demon time, nigga. He looked like God dang the Undertaker, nigga. They were like, oh shit. So now Anger fan in the rain, no coat. Where you win a coat at, Anger fan? Where your, where your winter coat? No, no winter coat, no hoodie, no nothing. Polo shirt, no no wife beater. <laughs> I'm like, Anger fan, where, where do you go to shop? Like, where do you, do you go to Forum on Mills? Like, first of all, you don't understand how funny that goddamn joke is. <laughs> if you're not for the probably the Tri-State area, uh, probably a better joke would probably Burlington, Burlington Coat Factory, but no, Tri-State area, there's a there's a clothing store called Forum on Mills, just like that, the commercial, yo! <laughs> like, Anger fan went to the big, you know, Forum on Mills clothing store, there's like a big bin to where like you can get clothes from, like Goodwill, like, did you go to God? <laughs> <laughs> You got a goddamn, goddamn bag and sag and berry, goddamn pants. <laughs> like what the hell? Again, no wife beat, no wife beater. Like what are you doing, bro? I got a wife beater on right now as we speak. Can you see that? You always wear black. I don't wear white. I'm sorry. I don't only wear white when I'm wearing white. But anyway, so <sighs> you trying to get to the door, banging on the glass, like Debo, where you at, Debo? And, and Uncle, shout out to Uncle Rob, one of the Vanguard. She's like, yo, brother, Debo done left. They probably said the cops going to be called. You got to get out of here, Anger fan. Got to get out of here, Caps. Cops like, where you at? You bet you oh, you bet yo, you bet. Where you at, Debo? I'm right here. How you going to slap me then disappear? I'm right here. Yo, he cut one of the best promos. He cut he cut a Booker T. <laughs> Booker T versus Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, where you at? We coming for you, nigga. Like, he cut a Booker T. He got one of the best. Please tell me you saw that Booker T promo where he said, nigga. We take what we want, and after we take Lex Ruger and the child, we want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out for the record, Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. That is one of the funniest things of all time. Of all people, you told Hulk Hogan, nigga, like, you too, nigga. Probably where is why you got it from. But he was like, where you at, Debo? I'm right here. No, no, no hat. No, no hoodie, no jacket, wet dripping, like rain pouring. Oh my God dang dog. God dang dog. So now, <laughs> and then the video cuts off like, bruh, Anger fan was outside in the rain looking crazy, looking like God dang John Wick, like his dog just got killed. 
Edgar Fair was not playing. As soon as he got touched, he was on goal time, bro. He was activated. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. <laughs> like, looking like Ray, looking like Ray J in the music video. If I had one wish, i go to the event, have a good time, not get hit. If I had one wish, I'll get, <laughs> I'll have all clothes that really fit, not saggy and shit. If I had one wish, <laughs> If I have one wish. What? Yo, like, I just, I can't believe of all people, Debo! Of all people, Debo? Debo! Of all people's Debo's? Like, what? Like, I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. Yeah, I put a T on shock. Like, I'm still in shock. Like, I can't believe of all people, Debo. Look. I'm not here to tell anybody how to respond, how to respond to disrespect. I'm not here to tell anybody how to respond to disrespect. You respond to it how you respond to it. My problem is just not inside the event. Look, look at here, look at here. Look at here, look at here. Let me be honest. When I break down every round that a sketch bouts, look, look, let me be honest, Debo. Like, I mean, I can't believe I'm doing this on, I'm doing this video about Debo. I'm very disappointed. Like, I'm, I am very disappointed, bro. Like, as a fan of Queen of the Ring for the longest time, as a, all the respect I have for Debo, I want it all back. Nah, <laughs> like, the respect I have for Debo, I know he gets clowned a lot and all that. That's cool. But like I have a lot of respect for Debo for being one of the, the pillars of Queen of the Ring and one of the pillars of, 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 of Battle Rap. And for you to do this as a league owner, knowing how difficult it is to try to throw events just without anything happening. And then you go to QB's first ever event. And here's the problem I have. Why don't I see any videos or pictures of you at the event? Why don't I see that? QB throws her first ever event. QB, QB Black Diamond, who's blessed your stage time and time again, giving you classic moments and in, in, in battles. And the least you could have did was be at the event to support QB. Were you going on there to be on ball chat? And again, I don't have a problem with you fighting. Niggas fight every day, B. You be all right. I don't have a problem with you fighting, but take it outside. Take it outside. Uh, I hate this whole thing of, oh, it's on site. I hate all these. I'm not, I'm trying not to, in a, in a, a, a wise man, understand that a wise man in this life you build or destroy. A wise man understands that a wise man understands in his life, you either build or destroy. I'm not here to tell, tear down my brothers and sisters. But if I hear one more person talking about, well, it's on site, on site means on site. How far are you taking on site, then, nigga? If you, if you outside in the neighborhood pushing your, your, your baby or your toddler or your grandbaby in a stroller and you see your op, or you're gonna say, F my kid, I'm gonna fight, fight my op. If you had church, with your, if you had church with your moms, you know, praise the Lord, Jesus, be the fence all around me every week. I'm you to protect me. And then you see your op in the pew, and you'll be like, "F my moms, F the congregation, F the preachers. I'm gonna fight my op." If you had a funeral, you know, trying to. Respect, pay your last respects to your mans or your family, your friend, and you see you out at the funeral. You go like, "F my mans, that's going to go, go that 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 passed away. F my family, my friends, all his family, her family, and friends. I'm gonna fight my op. How far do you take on site? Like I hate everybody making excuses. Like like niggas always got these. <sighs> I'm trying not to tear down of us. But people always got an excuse for dumb shit. Niggas always got an excuse for why you should do dumb shit. 
I get, I don't have no problem with the fight or nothing like that, but take it outside. This is QB's first ever event. Uh, the Caucasian lady got knocked down. You don't know how, <laughs> if she want to go real, a uh, real Karen, if she want to get Karen, she can really go Karen and, and mess everybody up. QB, you don't know her relationship with the venue, with the people in the venue. She might lose that. I'm hearing that everything's good, but still, you don't know. And again, it's about respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. It's about respect. Respecting QB in her event. Respecting the league owners. Respecting the venue. Respecting the ballers. Respecting the fans. Respecting, respecting yourself. Again, you want to get your get back? That's fine. Do it after the event. Do it outside the event. Get your lick back then. Why are we going to events fight? I never understand that. Why are people going to events and fighting? Like, y'all niggas need goddamn do Tabo or something. Get your rage out, nigga. <laughs> y'all niggas, clearly y'all niggas got all this rage inside. Every event I watch somebody get somebody fight. Nigga, y'all niggas need therapy, Tabo. Go to go go to the gym. Get your play some basketball, nigga. Play some goddamn. Oh, uh, we or something. We still a thing? I don't know. Nigga, play some video games. Get your aggression out then. Play some Madden. Niggas want to go to events to fight. For what? For what? What you angry for? What you angry for? What you mad for? Like, damn. Niggas can't watch one event when our niggas fighting. Like, god dang. And of all people's Debo. Again, I'm disappointed in you, my brother. I'm disappointed, man. Respect my house. <laughs> like, QB, QB was very chill about it. She could have went crazy. We know how QB used to get, but it's just like she was very chill. She wasn't, she wasn't happy about it, but she was very chill. Respect the QB again. Like, damn, nigga, respect my house, man. Supposed to be one of the vanguards, one of the protectors, the gatekeepers of battle rap. You you nigga tell the niggas two steps back. But now that you are representing Smack. Don't mean you're supposed to literally smack niggas. Just because you represent smack, don't don't take that literally, Debo. <laughs> Hi, damn. Yeah, again, we're all human. We're all have emotions, but like Debo. Like, come on, my, my brother. It, 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 it's, 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 it, it, it's like, man, you're supposed to be a vanguard. You're looking very, you're looking like a Joel and B. <laughs> Injury report. You looking very questionable, my nigga. Like, I don't know. You're supposed to be a vanguard in here, but you looking very vanguardish. <laughs> oh man. Like this is the thing by um Jason Wilson. Look up Jason Wilson on YouTube or IG. Where he says there's a difference between reacting to disrespect and responding to disrespect. Don't ever react to disrespect respond to disrespect because as grown folks we, we're supposed to be able to handle our emotions and hell handle situations a certain way now if it gets to fighting you do what you got to do but respond to disrespect don't react to disrespect but shout out to jason william shout out to jason wilson um look him up on youtube man very enlightened brother but it's like dog i i just i'm disappointing you debo i ain't gonna hold you bro I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Like, again, you of all people knowing how difficult it is to throw events, try to keep people not to go crazy and and, 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 and mess up the event. Like, nigga, QB herself, when uh, uh, QB and Rex originally was set up, at Queen in the Ring, they had a... F oh. Whoa. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hmm. Hmm. It all makes sense. Oh, oh, you, 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 you diabolical. <laughs> oh, so this wasn't to get a lit back at Angry Fan. This was to get a lit back for QB messing up the event when she was supposed to face. Oh, and got it into the noon. Ah, uh huh. Hey, 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 all right, all right, okay, all right, it's all coming, it's all, it's all, it's all, the puzzle pieces are coming together.
together. Okay. But look how I come around, though. Look. That's the only thing I can think of. Or why you mess up Cuban's event and mess up a battle rap event? Trying to fight niggas. That's the only thing I can think of, man. Again, Debo did apologize. He did apologize publicly on Twitter. Shout out to him. It does take a it, it does take a lot for people in general to apologize and if they're wrong. Shout out to Debo for that. But just like, damn. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just disappointing, bro. Just disappointing. That's all I gotta say, bro. Hopefully we can be better. <laughs> Hopefully we can be better, man. Cause again, you gotta set an example for the youngins. You gotta set an example for the the other up and coming league owners and battlers and, and fans. Like, if you if you take the the a different route and don't fight at the venue, maybe other people will have consideration of others and be like, yo, you know what? Debo ain't fighting the event. You know what? Maybe I should go and take it outside. You never know. You never know who watching. You never know who's inputting, in, imputing information. You gotta be, you gotta be mindful of that. We gotta, you gotta start thinking of others. I don't know why we in such a selfish, selfish uh, uh, a society to where it's like me, 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 me. No, think of others. Think of other people that had to buy the tickets, that had to drive that had to get the venue, that had to book the flights, book the hotels, and, and make the battles, buy the pay-per-view. Like, you gotta think of others before you mess it up for everyone. I just don't understand why it's so acceptable, and there's been no change in 10, 15 years. We're still going through the same BS we've gone through since day one. Don't get it. But, yeah, that's all I gotta say, d man. It's just, I'm disappointed, my brother. But, uh, Anger Fan! You not off the hook, my friend. <sighs> Angry fan, here's the thing, bro. You know why I'm disappointed in you in? Again, I'm not here to get into you and Debo and the whole SMD. I don't know, I'm not here. I, it's none of my business. I saw the live and I think, oh, it's spicy. It's real sriracha right now, but I'm not here to. That's none of my business. But what pissed me off about you is you got. As blame it on the girls, got your feelings, blame it on the chum, got you in the zone, blame it on the alcohol, blame it on the You got drunk as a motherfucker. You was you was god dang mud bone <laughs> at the event. And you had to drive home. And I saw your videos talking about man B. Man B, I gotta be honest, B. Man, I'm looking I ain't passed no police, B. Like I could have got locked up. And I'm thinking, you was worried about getting locked up? Talking about you were swerving in and out of lanes? No, you could have been in a morgue. You could have been in a hospital bed. Shit, Hall of Hospital getting bad. You could have been in a hospital bed. It was just almost under a year ago. I lost a good family friend in a car accident. Like, you could have lost your life. Forget being locked up. Drinking and driving, brother? Again, we all make mistakes. We're all human. But you got to be mindful of that, Cass. Man, I'm just glad that you made it home, brother. I'm more concerned about that. F the fight. Yeah, we're going to make our jokes and all that. But, like, come on. You got to think about your... You got to think about your well-being. If you know you can't drive, nigga, just have your homeboy take you home and drive... And have, find a way to Uber back to your car. Or, you know, just sleep in your car or do whatever you got to do. But come on, brother. Come on. Um... But outside of that, also, all you bloggers, I don't know what's going on. If it's a new moon or what's what's up with this energy, niggas calling people's wives, niggas getting paperwork, nigga. Like I don't know what's going on with with y'all block with y'all bloggers today. I don't know what your problem is. But at the end of the day, you gotta be mindful of what you say on these mics. You gotta be mindful of what you say because the energy you put out. It's energy you get back. I ain't saying Angry Fan deserved to get slapped up. I don't know. But we know Angry Fan is a wild boy. He wild. He gonna say a lot. So, hey, I'm just saying, at us as media, bloggers, whatever you want to call us, you got to be mindful of what you say. I might, there's probably only, I think only two people I've called out their name. One was Battle Truth because he's a pedo. <laughs> I'll stand on that. 
Yeah, another is a Ballard. I'm not gonna say his name, but he's also a pedo. So that's where I stand on calling people out their name. Outside of that, I say my jokes, I roast, I have my skits, whatever, but it's all love. It's all out of fun and entertainment. But yeah, you gotta be mindful. Like y'all internet gangsters, like talking about you ain't gonna do nothing to me. Like anybody, first of all, anybody can be touched. Like ain't nobody immune from getting touched, first of all. Second of all, at the end of the day, this is supposed to be about battle rap. Why everybody, why are you trying to be a tough guy? Like, are those freckles on your face? Bad bop, ain't bop, but it ain't like a bad bop. <laughs> like the braids at him. Then, 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 little reload with the bullets that came out of ah! What? Shout out to him, man. Those freckles on your face, why are you trying to be a bad guy? Um. But yeah, like, all these media personalities, man, like, but it's not everybody. A lot, there's a lot of people that just do the battle rap stuff, handle business and go on about their day. Um, but it's just like, I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of messiness, a lot of people, a lot of men and then like women on these goddamn videos. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Like who raised you? Like, <laughs> What's going on in your life? Like. A lot of people just ain't happy, I guess. They ain't living happy homes. So I don't know. But anyway, it's just like, we got to be better as media. I know we're going to get our jokes off. We're going to have fun. But calling out, calling people out their name and inviting people to the Frank stand and, and, and talking all gangster on the internet, it gets you nowhere, bro. It gets you nowhere. So it's just like, let's just have fun about that. This is supposed to be about the art. It's supposed to be about having fun entertainment about supposed to be about intellect can we act like that i don't know but it is what it is that's a fan that's debo again i'm not here to, 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 to say who right or wrong regards to the situation at hand but in terms of debo come on just take it outside don't mess up the event when it come to anger fan be smart about the liquor and the, and, the, and the drugs you consume try to make it home and also be mindful of what you say on these mics and that's just not a fan that's everybody Cause you never know who watching, who hearing, and how people are gonna take certain things. So, but last but not least, like I said, look up Jason Wilson. Respond to disrespect. Don't react. We're supposed to be grown folk. We got a lot. A lot of us got kids, wives, husbands, family, friends, jobs. Like, come on, man. We gotta be better than this, nigga. We it's 2024, nigga. Like, we gotta grow up at some point. We gotta grow up. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. No, nigga. Grow up. <laughs> Even the Rock Rats grew up, nigga. And the Rock and Tommy Pickles and, 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 and Jonka and Chucky and Phil and Lil can grow up. You can grow up, nigga. But that's all I got to say, bro. It's all love, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share the things of the things. Battle rap, hold it down. Hip hop, hold it down. You know what? Let me go back to a slogan I did when I was uh, doing the Math Hoffa challenge when he was going at Charlie Clips and Summer Mad is 10. <laughs> Him and Misfit did a whole challenge freestyling what was in the room. You know I'm just a fan how to show on love. Oh, this is for people that love Barrap, not the keyboard thugs. Barrap, hold it down.